their legacies continue to inspire us. Their contributions are etched into the very fabric of our national identity. It is with great pride and honor that we honor them for what they did for us. They epitomize the unbreakable spirit of unity that defines us as Jamaicans. National Heroes Day is also an appropriate occasion to address the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead for our country. When we reflect on the values and principles that our national heroes lived and died for, we must ask ourselves some pertinent questions. Are we living up to those ideals? Are we working to make Jamaica a land of opportunity and equality for all our citizens, regardless of their background or circumstances? Are we doing enough to address the social and economic inequalities that persist in our society even today? Our national heroes would want us to continue striving for a better Jamaica. They would want to see us building a Jamaica where every child has access to quality education, where every Jamaican has the opportunity to earn a decent living by lawful means, and where the rights and dignity of every Jamaican are respected and protected by our nation state. It is our responsibility to carry forward their vision and work towards a brighter future for all. Our heroes fought for our freedom from enslavement, oppression and exploitation. They would want us to achieve our full political and economic independence, shedding all residual vestiges of colonial subjugation. We must therefore continue on their path to achieve full decolonization by removing the King of England as our head of state and by removing his Privy Council as our final court of appeal. We must have faith in ourselves and in the great institutions like the Caribbean Court of Justice that we have conceptualized, funded and brought into being to give our people access to quality justice. It is time to free ourselves from the mental slavery that is reinforced by these colonial trappings that remain at the apex of our system of governance as we must recognize that we are not subordinate to anyone else. Our heroes understood the power of education in empowering our people to move forward in their lives and end intergenerational poverty. We must invest in our education system to ensure that it provides a pathway to success for every child. Quality education should be accessible to all and we must all support our teachers and schools in achieving this goal. It will require all of us committing to that essential task and playing our parts to make it happen. We have the right excellent Marcus Mosiah Garvey as our first national hero. Marcus taught us to recognize and embrace how great we are and to love and have pride in ourselves and our great African history and heritage. Yet still our society struggles collectively with deep-rooted issues that lead to dysfunctional behaviors. We must include the teachings of Marcus Garvey in our schools to inspire confidence and a positive self-image in our children. The power of his philosophy of self-confidence, self-help and the power of collective effort can inspire our people to believe that we can achieve what we will if we set our minds to it and work steadfastly to accomplish our goals. As has been said already, so let it be done. None but ourselves can free our minds. The fight for social and economic justice was at the heart of our heroes' struggles. We must confront and bring an end to the current injustices in our society. We must ensure that every Jamaican has access to a solid education, quality health care, decent housing and other basic social services, regardless of where they live or their financial circumstances. Our national heroes came from diverse backgrounds, but they struggled for the common cause of building a better Jamaica. We must embrace our diverse ethnicities and social backgrounds and work together as one nation. As leaders, we must cast aside the pettiness of tribal political divisions and the selfishness of personal ambitions and work collectively for the greater good of all our people. Time come for a new spirit of oneness in Jamaica. In the traditions of National Heroes Day, I call upon all Jamaicans to come together to address our nation's most difficult challenges. It is by working together 
that we will build a Jamaica that our heroes fought and died for. A Jamaica that finally embodies their great ideals of freedom, justice, and equality for all. Happy Heroes Day, Jamaica. May God continue to bless us all and Jamaica, land we love.